Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet my kitchen ring pad. To do this, you'll need about a 250 yards of cotton yarn and a size G crochet hook. To begin, chain 25. Slip stitch to the first chain to form a ring. Chain 1. Make 25 single crochet stitches within this ring. As you go around the ring, you might need to slide the single crochet stitches around a bit to even them out. At the end, slip stitch. For round 2, chain 2. Make a double crochet in the same spot. Then chain 1. In the next stitch, make a 2 double crochet cluster. To do this, begin the first double crochet, but don't finish it. Then begin the second double crochet in the same spot. Then finish it all. Chain 1. In the next stitch, make that 2 double crochet cluster again. Begin the first double crochet, but don't finish it. Begin the second double crochet, then finish everything. And chain 1. Continue around with making a 2 double crochet cluster in each stitch, with a chain 1 in between. At the end, omit the last chain 1, and make a slip stitch instead. For round 3, chain 1. Make 2 single crochet stitches, followed by a chain 1. In the top of the next cluster stitch, make 2 single crochet stitches, followed by a chain 1. And in the top of the next cluster stitch, make 2 single crochet stitches, followed by a chain 1. Continue with making 2 single crochet on top of each cluster stitch with a chain 1 in between. And as before, omit the last chain 1 and instead slip stitch to the first stitch. Cut your yarn and fasten off. It's important to mark this first ring as we'll need this information later. Next, we'll join on ring number 2. For rings 2 through 8, start with a chain 25 as before. We'll insert this through the previous ring and slip stitch to form a ring. Now we repeat everything we did before. Just try to ignore the fact that another ring is hanging from below. So we do our chain 1 and make 25 single crochet stitches in this ring. Ensure it's connected correctly, then proceed to crocheting rounds 2 and 3. Continue this for 8 rings. As you can see, I change colors kind of every 3 rings. Form the rings into a circle. We need to do something special for ring number 9. Take the first marked ring and place it on top of the last ring we made. Then turn it over so we see the back or wrong side of the last ring. Take the 25 chains and insert the starting tail end like this. Slip stitch to the first chain. Then proceed to do your normal ring stitches, such as a chain 1 and make 25 single crochet stitches in this ring. It's important to ensure that this ring isn't twisted in any way before proceeding on to rounds 2 and 3. Once completed, straighten out all the rings and lay them flat on the table. Working from the center, pull the same color rings together. Yellows should meet yellows and greens should meet greens. For each color, take a yarn needle and sew each of the three same color rings together. Push the yarn ends towards the back and tie and knot them in place. Repeat this for all the other same color rings. Next, if you'd like your kitchen ring pad a bit thicker, you can place a double crochet backing on it. I'm going to assume you already know how to make a double crochet circle, so I'll just go over the highlights on how to make this. You'll keep increasing the one double crochet with every round. You'll need to make your circle as big as the diameter of your rings. 
In my case, that was eight total rounds. To connect the back, place the rings on the backing and mark the center of the top of the rings with the paper clip to the backing. Begin single crochet stitches around the backing. Then when you come to the marked stitch of a ring, take out the paper clip and connect the ring part with the backing with a single crochet stitch. Then just continue on with making single crochet on just the backing part until you meet up again with the next stitch marker. And that's how I crochet my kitchen ring pad. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.